So this question says triangle FGH is similar to triangle JKL. So I'm going to just draw them. I like to draw whenever there's a shape described. So I'm going to call this FGH. And in the same vein, right in the same exact order, I'm going to call this J, K, and L, where angle F corresponds to angle J. Yep, we have that. That's usually how it works, right? The order, the three-letter order here matches the three-letter order here. So angle F corresponds to angle J, and angles G and K are right angles. Okay, so got to change up my, my thing here. So I'm going to draw it this way. I'm going to make this G. So make this F and make this H. And then here, I know that F and J. So J goes with F, G goes with K. So this is K. So make that a right angle. And then I have L left over. You have to be willing to start off something and switch gears once you have more information. So now I know these are actually right angles. So I think we have everything set now. Um, then it says, if sine F is equal to 308 over 317. Well, sine from Sokotoa, which hopefully you recall, the sine, S-O-H, right, the sine of an angle is equal to the opposite side of that angle divided by the hypotenuse. So if my sine is 308 over 317 for F, I know that means that the opposite side of angle F must be 308, and the hypotenuse must be 317. Okay, what is the value of sine j? So sine j should be the exact same. Here's why. These two triangles are similar. The fact that they're similar means all their angles are equal to each other. All their corresponding angles are equal to each other. Okay? Now, it doesn't mean their side lengths are equal to each other, but it does mean their side lengths are proportional to each other. So, for instance, if I wanted to know what KL was, I would say, well, it has to be 308, let's say, X, right? It has to be some multiple of 308. And it could be a fraction of 308, by the way. X could be like one half or something like that. But that's what we mean by proportional. These numbers are still relevant. They're still related. It's just they may not be the exact same. But the thing is, if I take the sine of j here and I say, well, that's opposite, 308x, divided by hypotenuse, 317x. The x's just cross out, so they didn't even really matter once you take the ratio. So 308 over 317 is the correct answer, and therefore we are here at choice B.